On my search for the Putnam County Chambers, I was informed that I was headed right towards Hawk Rock, which at first I just sort of shrugged off. It sounds like typical hiking sort of checkpoint material, like make a turn at Hawk Rock. If you go over a cliff, you've gone too far, that sort of thing. However, as I started doing research, I was quite surprised at the history and fascination surrounding Hawk Rock. It's what is called an erratic rock, that is, something that was moved to its position by glacial melting. We're talking Ice Age. The name of it is actually quite simple. The rock literally looks like a giant hawk. The head and beak jut out in their tight, sharp cut angles, and the side curves downward, shaping out to be a prominent wing. This looks exactly like what it was named. Now, whether it eroded that way or was carved into that shape, that's a completely different question. It stands at over 25 feet tall. It's an impressive sight. In front of the rock stands a large flat plateau, which is rumored to be a ceremonial spot once used by the Native Americans. If you're standing on this ledge and look closer at the wing of the hawk, you'll notice some carved symbols in it. These archaic etchings in this ancient rock, that's going to raise a lot of questions. Some believe it was done by some Boy Scouts some time this century, while others believe the etchings could be as old as 5,000 years. That's quite a discrepancy. But what is fact is there are Native American powwows and retreats that visit Hawk Rock and its legends are told of the tribes that once worshipped there in this beautiful forest. Oh, and uh, I should probably mention one last thing. Some people think it's a portal into another dimension. No, I'm not joking. When I walked the trail towards Hawk Rock, almost two miles from my start point, I had been surrounded by nothing but incredibly thick brush and trees. The forest was vibrant with life, birds and insects buzzing around me loudly, mosquitoes everywhere. What I'm trying to say is this, it was loud. But just before the rock, maybe 50 to 100 feet before I was in front of it, the entire forest seemed to change almost like an equator line, dead in the woods. One side of the line was the thick forest. The other side was a thinner vegetation, pines, dead grass, and hardly any mosquitoes. It was much quieter in this spot, much more peaceful. I wish I could explain it. I'm not the first person to say this either. While most just accept that it's a difference in vegetation, and it's just as simple as that, some believe that this is actually a spot where dimensions change. You step into another realm. While I'm not saying I necessarily think that, I was incredibly shocked by the change of scenery smack dab in the middle of these woods. I can understand why the story may pass from generation to generation, that this was a sacred place. A place for prayer, worship, or even, according to a few folks out there, the paranormal. I highly recommend you check out Hawk Rock. It's not too tough a trail. You get to see a stone chamber or two, which you can learn about all in my third episode of the podcast, and you get some fresh air. Most importantly, you get to see yet another famous legend that stands just near your backyard. It's a beautiful sight to behold, so check it out. Thanks for listening. Until next time, I'm Tonio, and this is Hudson Valley Legends.